let's look at this question which says the fuel consumption f of a car in liters per 100 kilometers so the fuel consumption f the unit of fuel consumption is liters per 100 kilometers is related to velocity which is v uh, in kilometers per hour this is kilometers per hour and the formula which relates fuel consumption to velocity is this now we want to use this function or this formula to show that the minimum fuel consumption is when the velocity is 25 kilometers per hour so we want to use calculus so before I explain the use of calculus in real life. So let's understand the function f. So f is fuel consumption is given to be 16 minus 0 0.2 v and this is 1 over 250 which is 4 over 1000 which is 0 0.004 v squared. So this is a quadratic function. So basically, let's understand this graphically and then I'll explain the calculus behind this. So here on the y-axis, you're taking f. So let's say your horizontal axis is velocity, which is v, which is in kilometers per hour. Kilometers per hour. And here this is f, which is your full fuel consumption, which is liters per 100 kilometers per 100 100 kilometers okay so but just looking at this function i can say this is a this is a parabola this is a quadratic so the graph would look somewhat like this let me use a different color not drawn to scale it would go somewhat like this so this is 16. How do I know this is 16? Because when v is 0, if you put v as 0, this is going to be 16. And how do I know this will be above? Your fuel consumption cannot be below 0. So that's the logic. So basically, we want to find this point or this coordinate of this point. So this is your v. At this velocity, you're going to hit the minimum fuel consumption so this is what we want to find this point okay now how do we use calculus now at this point if you draw if you if you know if you know the gradient okay or oh, let me do it in a different way suppose if you draw a tangent the gradient of the tangent of this line say would be zero so I can say the gradient of this line is zero that's something that you know without calculus this line is a horizontal line this line if you draw the tangent if you draw the this is a tangent at this point the gradient of this tangent is going to be zero so in terms of the same thing when you say this in calculus we say df by dv of this line is zero so basically we want to find the derivative or differentiation of this function so let me write it here so we'll say df by dv this is the rate of change of fuel consumption to the rate of change of velocity so using the polynomial the derivative of 16 is going to be 0 the derivative of negative 0 0.2 v is going to be negative 0 0.2 and this will be plus 0 0.008 v am i right yeah i think so so now we have to set this equal to zero so therefore i can say well to find the minimum fuel consumption you have the minimum fuel consumption at this point and at this point the gradient is zero so we already know the formula for the gradient function which is this so I'm going to set this equal to zero. So I can say 0 0.008 V minus 0 0.2 is equal to zero. 
So adding 0 0.2 on both sides, 0 0.008V is equal to 0 0.2. Now dividing both sides by 0 0.008, the velocity is 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.008. Let me create my calculator out. So this is 0 0.2, point, sorry, 0.2, sorry, 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.008. Am I right? Yep, yeah. which is 25. So we can see your velocity is going to be 25 kilometers per hour at in, at this velocity, you're going to have your minimum fuel consumption. Okay, so let me show this on a graphic calculator. You can get this answer by just knowing the facts. So let me show this. So if you go to graph without calculus, if you want to understand this graphically, I want to see this. Okay, so go to graph and type in the function. Now, before I type in, some of you may struggle zero point how did I get to zero point zero zero four? This is same as F is equal to sixteen minus zero point two V, that's fine. And this can be written as plus one over two fifty times V squared. And one over two fifty if you do this and this are the same. So 1 over 250 I know is 4 over 1000 and as you know 4 over 1000 is 0 0.004. That's how I wrote 0 0.004. So let me type in the function 16 minus 0.2x plus 0.004x squared. Okay I need to set the scale I'll go from 0 to say 80 or 0 to 60 or 0 to 100. And on Y, I had to go from 0 to 20 would do because I know the Y intercept is 16. So this is your graph. So on X axis, I've taken velocity and the Y axis, I've taken the fuel consumption. So this point, which is the minimum, at this point, you are going to get the gradient of zero. So if you put, so if you go to setup, shift menu, and if you turn the derivative on, so you can see all of them together. You can see graph and calculus together. So let me show you GSOL minimum. Can you see when X is 25 and velocity is 25, your Y, which is your fuel consumption is 13.5, which is minimum. And at that point, your dy by dx is zero. So this is the use of calculus in real life, where you can do this quite efficiently, just if you know the derivative. This point, or this point is called a very critical point. This is called the minimum. So in many real life situation, people are interested in finding the minimum and maximum. And in minimum or maximum, problem, so that's also called an optimization problem, there your dy by dx at minimum or maximum, your dy by dx or your gradient function at that point is going to be zero. So for most of the optimization questions, you need to first differentiate the function, set that equal to zero and solve the problem. That will give you the either the minimum or the maximum.